I think that there's, um, there's a lot of opportunity in education. Um, I think that typically education has been doing the wrong things really well. I think we're at a point where we kind of need to understand the global picture. It is a political football, unfortunately. Um, so if politics changes, education changes to a certain extent. We're also seeing the emergence of this kind of independence, edu independence around education. So people can learn by themselves, they've got access to content and online. And I think technology is allow giving real access to people. So it doesn't matter your age, your social status, what kind of background you come from, you can now, you know, get online onto a course. And if you've got a real passion for learning, you can, you can learn, begin to educate yourselves. Um, of course, you know, having a mentor, having a teacher face to face, it's an important part of that. There are now examples of people that are, you know, that are, big, that are learning in, in many different contexts. I think technology has now become a tool. So, um, you know, a student today walks into a classroom in just the way they expect tables and chairs to be there, they expect technology to be there. If at home, you know, they're used to Playstations and Xboxes and so on, and at school, you're giving them a textbook that might be out of date, you know, that is just kind of, you know, they can't dig deeper, it's not personalized. That's kind of, a, a, there's a degree of frustration around that. Of course, factual information is just factual information and students can absorb that from anywhere. But where technology can provide the difference is where it personalizes that learning. So if I want to watch a video five times, I can do that. You need to watch it only twice, you can do that. I want to come back to it in six months time, I can do that. And that access at any time, that personalization um, is the area where now technology is allowing us to design learning in a way in which was just not possible before. Oh, that's a, a good question. Um, I think the most inspiring thing that I've learned is when I've seen a student that has managed to escape a war-torn country, work their way through 10 different countries, landed on the doorsteps of ESA Academy, used every possible means, including technology and other means of educating themselves and come out with a degree and publish a book and is now kind of a force of change for his own country. And I look at that student as a school and as a teacher and as a person, we're part of his journey. But the impact that you can create is inspirational. It kind of is a driving force behind doing the things that we do. And I think it's, it's a really powerful agent for change. Oh, um, I think the most exciting thing is to see what tools are going to be available this year that's going to amplify my abilities or a teacher's abilities, you know. Um, everything from augmented reality to virtual reality, these are kind of, you know, amazing magical kind of stuff, you know, when it all just works in a very simple and reliable sort of way that allows you to do things that you couldn't do before. I think that is kind of quite fascinating for me. Um, I think that sometimes it's frustrating when it's not reliable and it doesn't always work, but where you begin then to see that this is actually quite reliable, you know, it, you could use this in a classroom, I think that, that's quite exciting. Um, I suppose it borders, um, borders on being magic, really.